Athens, you are looking at pictures after two people were killed after they were struck by a vehicle. This happening on Esplanade Avenue. If you're familiar with that area of the Bayou St. John area, this again happening tonight. Two people were killed after they were hit by a vehicle. Uh, moments ago, you could actually see a car stopped in the street. What looked like maybe it was a, a bicycle or some debris left over there. Police uh, telling local uh, news agencies uh, on the ground there working that a suspect was arrested in connection with the crash, um, but they have not given any other information at this time. Again, you're looking at some of the aftermath of this crash, uh, again, happening in New Orleans in the Bayou St. John area. Two people have been killed after they were hit by a vehicle. Of course, the city making people stay away from that area. We will continue to follow this story as we get more information for you. Okay, uh, good evening everyone. Uh, unfortunately, we are here tonight because we have a double fatality that occurred in the 3200 block of Esplanade. Um, at approximately 8.05 p.m., NOPD officers responded to a possible medical call in the 2900 block of Esplanade. At that time, while en route to that particular call, we also received calls of bicyclists struck along the Esplanade corridor, stretching from the 3400 block now to the 3200 block of Esplanade. Once they arrived, they were able to apprehend the driver who we believe struck several bicyclists stretching from the 3400 block to the 3200 block of Esplanade. In total, we have eight people that we believe were struck. Two fatalities, five victims transported to the hospital where they are treated right now, and one refusal. Uh, this was a coordinated effort with our public safety team. EMS Fire Department was immediately on scene to render assistance to these victims, and not just with us and our public safety partners, but also with our citizens who were providing CPR to some of the victims while our medical staff was uh, en route to this scene. Um, so right now, this individual's in custody, and he's going through standard protocol with regards to breathalyzers, DNA, uh, blood exam, things of that nature to determine his condition at the time of this accident. We do not believe at this point in time that this has anything to do with the Endymion Parade. Everything is still under initial investigation as to the individual that is being arrested right now, where he was going, where was he coming from, as well as our victims. Where were they going? Where were they coming from? We are still under initial investigation with everything. I will allow, I will ask Dr. Nichols to give you an update on the victims that are involved in this. Good evening. So as the chief said, this was a complex incident that spanned over almost three blocks here on Esplanade. When emergency medical services arrived to the scene, we were here with the fire department and we responded to the eight patients, five of which were transported. Three out of those five were in critical condition at the time of their transport. The one refusal was in stable condition. It did not want to go to the hospital. Our, our mutual agencies, um, including Acadian, did help us in this response. They all were transported to the Trauma Center University, and we have been in touch with those physicians, and the trauma doctors are working diligently at this time, and we are receiving updates on their care. Next, I'll ask uh, Ms. Colin Arnold to see a few things. The only thing I'd add is that, um, obviously, unfortunate, uh, the city's mass casualty protocol was activated very quickly. Uh, all of public safety, police, fire, and EMS were on the scene very quickly. We have partners back here also from city operations like Public Works and Louisiana State Police assisting. We have uh, footage of this incident on at least three crime cameras right now, which will obviously be working with the investigators to assist them. And we'll be looking for further information about this vehicle as it traveled through the city. Mayor, would you like to say anything? Well, as uh, was stated, this is under active uh, investigation. Uh, upon, av upon arrival, uh, I immediately um, rendered a prayer uh, to our two individuals that lost their lives here on Esplanade Avenue. Um, and so our hearts absolutely go out uh, to the families as well. Um, as we learn more, uh, we will be able uh, to communicate that more effectively at that time. Thank you. Thank you. 
take a few questions, guys? Chief, uh, one witness told me that the driver appeared to be visibly intoxicated and was traveling at a high rate of speed before the crash. Can you confirm all that? Right now, that is, that is what is under investigation. Our fatality unit is over in charge of this investigation, and we are looking into all of these uh, issues that are being addressed right now, being brought to our attention at this time. So you can't confirm we, that immediately? I cannot confirm, no, sir. And just to be clear, all eight of the people were on bicycles when they were injured? We believe. We're not sure if all eight. We're, we're not exactly sure. The majority of them were. There was a pack of at least five or six for sure that we knew were on bicycles. Chief Ferguson, do you know the age range of the people that were hurt? Right now, we do not have any information with regards to age or anything like that on our victims. Were they all adults at least? We do not know right now. Can you tell me how you were able to apprehend the suspect so quickly? We were able to apprehend the subject so quickly because, again, they, the citizens stopped this individual because they thought they was helping someone who had just been involved in a one-car accident. And our officers are responding to that. But upon their arrival, or while in route to this scene, we received more calls about bicyclists being struck. And they determined immediately that this would be the individual that is responsible for these unfortunate victims being struck. Do you know the condition of the suspect? Is that person injured going to the hospital? He will be going to the hospital after we finish our basic protocols, as always. Any other questions? Was he the sole individual in the, in the vehicle? We believe so at this time, yes. Now, was it, a, it was described to me as a black uh, sports car. Is yes. that accurate? Okay. Yes. Okay. Given Did that, that thing, I'm sorry. Did he say anything at the scene nothing. at all? Nothing. Nothing. No, he, he did not say anything that we know of. Channel 6. That's okay. I'm good. All right, guys. That's obviously very early on, and we'll give you more information as it becomes available. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. in this world.